Hey guys, my name is Jeff. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk with you about Monolithic Power Systems. This is a company that I learned about maybe a month ago and the stock was at $855 a share when I first discovered it and it seemed to be kind of at the top of its trading range and I don't like to buy stocks when they're selling at all-time highs. My preference is to wait for a pullback or a retracement. And so over the course of the last month, I've had just that chance. Although I will say that this stock is a very strong performer in the semiconductor space and it has not been knocked down as far and it has not fallen in price as much as a lot of the other companies in this particular sector. So just in a bird's eye overview, this used to be just a chip provider. They made uh, semiconductor chips, but they've really grown the business. And one of their most successful areas right now of profit is their enterprise data systems, specifically uh, solid state hard drives, which are used in data centers. So they've really been growing their business and have many different products that they offer. But what mostly impresses me is the CEO, John Singh. I listened to the earnings call. The guy's very smart. He has a good sense of humor and he runs a really great company. So I don't want to get too far into analysis of the numbers because I think that can get a little bit boring if you're watching a YouTube video. But some of the things that stand out to me about this business is that they're growing and they're adapting and they've been able to grow their earnings and they've been able to grow it not only from this current quarter compared to last quarter at a nice growth rate but this year compared to last year and this is a year which has been really difficult for a lot of semiconductor companies but monolithic power systems seems to be doing things right growing their earnings and expanding their gross profit margin. So let me share with you some specifics. The financial results for the second quarter 2024 ending June 30th 2024 were as follows. Revenue was $507 million for the quarter ended, a 10.8% increase from $457.9 million for the quarter ending March 31st. So they grew their revenues 10.8% in one quarter. And this was a 15% increase from $44.1 million for the quarter ended June 30th of last year. So they were actually able to grow their profit 15% this year over last year. So the company's growing and that's a really tough comp for them because last year was a very strong year for monolithic power systems and so to beat that was really difficult and they were able to do that so this to me seems to be a stable company with a really strong balance sheet that's growing at i would say a reasonable rate you know if this is not a company growing at like 30 or 40 or 50 percent where you're just waiting for them to like smash into a wall it seems like the growth is sustained and it's manageable and then the other thing I wanted to point out that I think really matters here is the gross margin was 55.3% for the quarter ended June 30th, 2024, compared with 56% for the quarter ended uh, last year. So the gross profit margin is like 1% less this year than that year, last year that it's not really significant. But I just think these gross profit margins are really strong, more than 50%. So this company is in a really great sector of the economy. Their profit margins are solid and they're growing at a really consistent rate. I'd say the 10 to 15% that I talked to you about earlier is kind of why this stock is attractive to me. Now, I'm not an owner of this stock yet. Uh, my hope was to buy this below $750 a share. There's been a lot of volatility lately. The stock got right around $750 yesterday. I didn't buy it then. I was waiting or hoping that maybe today the markets would give me that chance. But of course, you know, you never know what's going to happen in markets. And this stock has just shot up a lot today. So today is the 8th of August. And I continue to be patient. There's so much volatility. I think being patient may give me the chance to 
open a position in this stock somewhere below $750. So I'll be ready for that when it happens, if it happens. But there is also a good chance that this rebound is sustained and it may never touch this point again. Who knows? Uh, but I wanted to share this anyways with you guys. So that's Monolithic Power Systems, a stock that I've never discussed before on this channel. But you know, when I discover a stock in a company that I think is making a product that has a strong demand, they've got gross profit margins that are solid and they're growing their sales and their earnings, I like to share it with you. So have you heard of MPWR? That's the ticker symbol. Have you heard of this company? If you have, put a little comment below, let me know, maybe you own it. I would wonder if anybody who follows this channel actually owns this stock. So let me know, like the video if you haven't already. And of course, if you're not yet a subscriber, tap that little subscription button. Then, you know, also if you hit the notification bell, you'll get a heads up whenever I make a new video. I focus on small, fast growing companies. I focus on companies in the semiconductor sector and every now and then I'll discover an ETF that I think is kind of cool and kind of different than VOO or VTI or something that I think you guys might like to know about. So if you'd like to discover these things right along with me, then of course, subscribe to the channel. It will be great to have you along for the journey. So glad you joined me today and I will see you in the next video.